All right, Frank, we can say, you talk about money, all right, time. let's go back to money. How much money do you think we'll save when we cut the council down to four? Not that. The price of one playground equipment could have paid for an entire year's salaries and then some, and you know it. That's my answer to that. One like playground said, equipment like that I we said, didn't need. You ain't never going to get off that subject. This, uh, You'd be great if you could just focus your, this your, 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 your activities to something positive that I can get up. My teeth in. But you gotta go negative point. first. If there's just, money being just, just beat the horse to death, man. If there's old ladies' just tax just money being horse thrown horse down the my drain. my taxes too. You're beating the horse to death. You're not a homo. Oh well that's he How do you know I'm not a homo? He could be. How do you know I'm not a homo? Maybe he's an aspiring. How do you know I'm not a homo? Alright then. Because I do on top. You know, maybe he's an aspiring homo. That's a low. I ain't no expiring homo. I'm not a Chris. I'm no expiring homo. I own land. All land just like you do. Clarkson is too small to have districts. All right, well that's your thing. I don't think so. Because I think if we get if we can get this other stuff annexed in and everything, I think we would it'd be both the city to have districts, period. And four council people. But you got six heads um, up there. You all it's always a, a, a wishy washy thing with six heads. Are you no. are you about to walk out of this meeting? No, no. No, I, I want to go. I'm I'm stretch out. Out. I, I do too. I see you no, put your hat, but I still have something to say. Um, can we do another subject? Yeah. Okay. That's what you're here for. Okay, good. Um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, when Chris was not at his house, code enforcement and police chief and police officers showed up at his property when he was not there to grant them permission to come onto his property. They came onto his property anyway with cameras, with questions of, of the people who live there also. They, they essentially <coughs> trespassed on his property without his permission, with him not being there. That happened on a particular day a couple of weeks ago. Do you have any idea why that happened on that particular day? None whatsoever. None whatsoever. It was because I left a Let message. Hold on, hold on. He happened that the, the night before, he left a message on uh, City uh, Manager Barker's email talking no, about... Voicemail. Voicemail, talking about t -splost and yeah. how and how uh, the City Manager really had no uh, business using the city's time and perhaps even money to try to sell T-Splots to public officials and to citizens. And perhaps he was a little gloating uh, when, uh, uh, after the vote happened and it didn't go Barker's way. The next morning, code enforcement police show up at his home. Do you think there was any connection there? Well, let me, let me stop from getting as far as the teach boss goes and the presentation. Now, they, this has nothing to do with teach boss. Well, that's what you said. You said it, it's That was the subject of his it's call. It's a possibility that it's a retaliation. That's what you're saying. Okay, go ahead. What I'm saying is what Mr. Parker presented to the public was he was instructed to do so by the council. And I'm he asking. did not put that on there himself. Oh, I never heard that before. That's interesting. He doesn't put anything on that agenda without council's approval. But it wasn't in the work session. I was at the work session. It doesn't have to be at the work session. He contacted the council and the council said yes, put it on the agenda. Okay, that's taken care of. All right. My question to you But is, no, I don't think it was, I don't think it was, it was what did he think he was going to say? Well, I think I think that if there was if it was anything me. suspicious about it, I would say something about Sonia, it. Sonia, thank you for looking out for me, but I knew his answer was going to be, "Where can you go with this?" Can I go? Now? Sure. Okay. If there was no connection, there would be probably plans in the city uh, uh, records that this visit to Mr. Busing's property was planned before the night before. So, um... the city records, they turned this stuff up. Even Barker himself said we have no code enforcement policy. Chris, it's all selective, I... targeted, and capricious. You know that. I'm sorry. No, I'm saying that if, if um, this was planned 
that probably the uh, uh, code enforcement person and the chief of police have a record of have a record. You'd be surprised. Have a record of of at least even if it was the afternoon before you made the telephone call, there would be an email, there would be a memo, there would be something that said, uh, we need to uh, address Mr. Busing's situation. Yeah. And, but, but I would like to know when the code enforcement officer and the chief of police received their marching orders to go to Mr. Busing's house. If it was after the phone call, yeah, you know, that's highly suspicious. You know, it's sunny. I, 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 you're not helping me, Chris. Right, I, let me, he ain't going to help me. You know, let me say Chris this. Is, Chris is thick. I've been on Chris is not thick. Oh, yes, no, he I is. Thick. He, he gets an idea in his head, and he's, he's like a, a horse with blinders on. Sonny, I appreciate your help. Okay. I don't know. Maybe you can do something with it. I'm oh, just not, I'm sorry to say, I'm just not really my, there my is, on that attack. And I'm really very concerned about this whole matter of code enforcement coming out. Believe me, I am. My question but I just don't know, usually I believe, you, I may be wrong, and your attack may be correct, but I believe that the way they operate, it's all up here. It's, let's, let's go get this guy one day, let's go get this guy the other day, and I don't think there's probably any records on that. I mean, it could be open record requests, act requests. You might be onto something, but that's just my suspicion. And believe me, I'm very concerned about it. Harris, what is your suspicion, right? You heard it. You said it's just like, yeah. My suspicion is that it's all just out of their heads. No, it's not all. And when they want to. <laughs> Keith Barker stated emphatically there's no code enforcement policy in Clarkston. This there's is no after code, quality of There's blood. no code enforcement policy. That's enforced. You only hear what you want to hear. It's not even in the Georgia law, as far as I know. What's not in the Georgia law? Code enforcement. The whole zone. I mean, it's it's all a big mystery. It's like, you know, when you go to court, you have procedures in courtrooms that have been honored, time honored, for 200 years in this country. A lot of it works. A lot of it doesn't work. Code enforcement. Is there anything written down about their procedure and who they go for? What? There's nothing. Nobody in this city, I've never heard anything said about it. There's nothing. I think in every city I've walked to, there's code enforcement regulations. Well, I certainly would like to see them. What? The Cab County has them. Lathonia has them. Well, maybe, has I should, them. Maybe, I should, maybe I should just be astonished and tail between my legs and go to the, the city charter right now and see if I can find them. But I think I've done this before, and I don't think there's anything there. But I may. I don't wrong. think there's anything in the charter that says anything about the code enforcement officer. That's what I just said. I don't think there is. <laughs> it's just. Yeah. See, people. But that's the, that's the, that's the creation of they created it, just like they created the police department. Ain't nothing in the in the, in the uh, <clears throat> charter about the police department. When when someone sues you in civil court, because. You're in business with some people, call it game machines or whatever. Right. And somebody says, well, I was partners with you and you owe me $182,000. To get that hundred, if you're wrong or if they're right, to get that, or vice versa, to get that $182,000 out of you, there's a civil court procedure, a jury, a due process where the judge and the jury looks at your side, you have a lawyer, time. they have a lawyer. Well, if there's $182,000 at stake there. It'd be just the judge there. Just you and the defendant. That's the magistrate's court. That's on no, it's not. No, it's not. You can do it in civil court too. No, civil court is jury court. But my point no, is. No, it's not. You need to research some of this stuff. I think I know more about the courts than you do. I don't think you do. You, but there's you think, nothing. You think I'm stupid, but I'm not. All no, right. I didn't say stupid. I think I you don't. You just said you think I'm stupid. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, I didn't. You said I don't know what I I'm think talking you about. Don't. If I don't know what I'm talking about, I must be stupid. No, I think I said I think no, you, you don't know. You don't know as much. My words were as you don't know as much about the court system as I do. That's a big yeah. difference between no, stupid. I'm not. And I'm not even going to go there. All right, because I know a lot about. I wouldn't call you stupid on camera. I wouldn't call I you stupid in private. You ain't what I tell you. You think <clears> I don't know, but I do. Okay, I just want to make one more point about what we were talking about 
Will you allow me to do that, please? Yeah, that's not a great job because I want to go see my own. Okay. Uh, this this um, uh, this um, incident on Chris's property has all of the appearance and all of the earmarks of retaliation on the part of the city against the citizen. I believe sure. it, it It looks that way. Okay, it looks that way. If that is not the case, the city needs to provide information that would support their... A legit? Yes. Okay. Yes. Just put it on the record, Chris. I'm pretty sure you'll get it. And, and it, put it on what? Put it in an open records request and you will get that. I appreciate that. Put, excuse me, Chris, wait a minute. Put what on an open records request? The information that you want to prove that it's not a conspiracy. Okay, all right, all right. All right. Um, um, okay. But um, I, that's what you do. I mean, I really want now, to now, just, just, now. Be, just be, um, um, just be, just just be prepared course. that you have, you have today alone advised us to file several open record requests. It's so, your right. So don't be surprised and don't be angry when they come your way. No, of course you won't. I'm sorry. I don't have anything to do with you. Okay, all right. Okay. I'm going to go okay. see my own. I'm going to go see my You go to City Hall, you say, give me an open record request. On that request, you put in what record you want. They will tell you what and how much time it will take to pull it and what it will cost. I'm going to go see my own. And however long anyone wants to talk about me and my property and affairs, that's fine. I Good to see you, Mr. Ransom. You. It's your right. You can stay here as long as you want. That's all I can do. I'll take you. care of you later. But mm -hmm. other than that, what you want to put on there, that's your problem, not mine. Okay. All right? So I'm not going to be surprised. Okay. All right? Sounds good. All right.